All right, welcome back again to Kinnereth and Moria. Um, something I just noticed, looking at my character here. Oh, shoot, I've got to click in this thing first. There we go. We're down to a negative two to hit. Our, our strength being as high as it was before helped us out. Our bonuses on our sword certainly helped us out. But without those bonuses and without my strength being higher, we're... Uh, just leave me alone. We're in a much worse shape. All right. Still doesn't have the damn beginner spell book. That sucks. What can we sell him, though? Let's find out what this scroll Fid Ion C does. 17, yeah, good enough. A scroll of sleep monster, good to know. And the scroll Mick 4. What's a Mick 4? I don't know. Um. That was an odd choice of uh, accents to say an odd sentence. Five, uh, 17. And there we go, a scroll of teleport, which would have um, removed me from the vicinity and, and put me far away. So actually that wouldn't be a bad thing to keep, I think. As opposed to a ring of teleport, which I think is kind of uncontrollable, as far as I understand it. Maybe I'm wrong about the ring of teleport, but God knows the guy didn't want it. All right, we can also sell this morning star we have yeah we should let's sell this morning star he's offering 90 so oh, is, is that the final offer no he's no he's not not going with the final offer here that's interesting give us a final offer on everything else and this one he's not I'm not sure I fully understand how all of this works um, <clears throat> but we'll do our best to sell this here if he throws this out if our buddy in the temple, who's been so good to us, throws us out, we can always sell this Morning Star in the weapon shop. If we had a sword, we couldn't sell it here. We could only sell that in the weapon shop. But blunt weapons, you can sell it either. Hmm. 450. I dropped a lot there. Good enough. Sold. I have nothing else I want to sell him. Incidentally, we were wondering before what was stolen from us. I think we met a brigand or a bandit or something in the dungeon. We met a, a gnome. We met a bunch of dudes who could steal from us. And we weren't sure what was stolen. I know for sure one of the things that it was, because I watched the video. Um, I had two scrolls of phase door, if you recall. I used one of them, but I only have zero now. So somebody stole one of my scrolls of phase door. Ring of Adornment, final offer 13, that's fine, I guess. We want to keep the detect invisible, we want to keep the... I think I'm keeping the rest, to be honest. I don't like taking up all those inventory slots, but uh, all three of those things could be very useful to us in select circumstances. Given we, uh... Hmm. Given we don't seem to be able to buy uh, the spell, that prayer book we really, really wanted. It almost seems like a waste of time that we came up here. Good enough. But what can you do? Sell these arrows. How about one gold piece per arrow? Come on. All right. Getting his final offers at him. Although I'm not sure that's as valuable as I thought it was. If they're not, not going to stick around with their uh, their super their best offers right off the bat, if that's not going to be a consistent thing, and it appears it's not based on our experience in the temple there with hard blow. Um, I don't know what the purpose is. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> Potion to restore strength. Yep. Let's buy that. For 390. Okay. Let's walk right outside and do it. Let's, we have minus two to hit, is it right? Minus two to hit, plus two to damage right now. Let's quaff this thing. Now we have minus one to hit and plus three damage. So give us an extra plus one to damage and an extra plus one to hit. That was worth it. What else did you have here? Scrolls of Identify. Useful. 
We need uh, probably some scrolls of recall again. Let's see if we have anything else to sell here. Nope. We have two scrolls of recall, so we don't actually need them yet, but we will buy them if it, uh, who are you? We will buy them if it, uh, if we, you know, have nothing else worth buying. How about boots? We have crappy boots, don't we? We have bad boots. So right here, these boots alone would be better than what we got, which we will buy, therefore, in a second. Unless he has something better on the other screen, he doesn't. All right, let's purchase those soft leather boots. There's been a really, you know, what do you call that, a, a famine on footwear in this game for some reason. Usually there's better boots, you know, right off the bat, let alone at this stage in the game. I don't think we found better footwear than that ever. Either laying around in the dungeon or uh, or in the store. Alright, got him for eight. Let's wear P. We can't sell the other ones. Let's just go out here and, well, won't drop them yet. I guess we'll keep them again to, in case somebody can steal them. I actually don't even know if that's true, if they can. I don't know if it's a... Uh, If it's possible for people to steal um, negative items, that's been guesswork. Whoops, how am I doing here? Um, we have plenty of food. We do have stuff to sell here, though. Let's sell it. Sell a slimy mushroom for one. Mushroom of light cures. Well, what's the difference between this other? Do we, have, do we have that already? We have a hairy mold of major cures and a mushroom of minor cures. I guess light and minor are two different things. How much will we sell them, this one for? We don't need it. Um... <clears throat> we are carrying all those extra stabs and wands, so I don't wanna I don't wanna carry on so much that we're just gonna end up dropping stuff later anyway, or what's the point? We need to have space so we can find stuff to bring back to town to sell. Alright, seventeen's fine with me. I will keep the other one because it is oh frick. Because it is major cures and we may come across a time when we really absolutely have to heal fast in the middle of combat, say. Oh look at that. Um Interesting. So I'll keep that for now. Let me go outside here. Let me, uh, I am going to identify that. Identify my, you'll notice we were talking earlier, we said, you know, you can sooner or later find out things are magic. Well, apparently that's magic. Plus one, pl or plus four, that's pretty good. So we had armor class 31. This should put us at what, 33, I think? Where, where the L? Where in the L? Yeah, 33. And that means we can go sell that metal cap. I want to move a little faster here. I don't want to be, I don't want to be stuck in town. Like we were that one damn video where it was like, what has it been so far? We've been here for eight minutes already. It's already an incredibly long time to be walking around doing something so ludicrously boring as forcing you to watch me wheel and deal. So I'm not going to worry too much about getting the absolute best price I can. Let's just kind of get this done. All right, good enough. All right, is that it? Do we have anything else we need? I love that book. We can't get it. Words of recall might be a good idea. Identify, good idea. Oh, we have leather. We have, we have several more pieces of armor we can sell. Soft leather, all right. What is he selling that for? Well, not... I can't see it here. Let's try 35. All right, 30. 25. Come on, man. Cut me some slack. Good enough. Sell the... Let's go to the higher priced items because he may throw us out of our store and we might as well sell off the best we can before that happens. Um, this is... So we had 11, right? So we're talking better than this. Uh, let's try asking for... Uh, I'm guessing here, man. No. Nope. 550. 450. Okay. 400. I'll drop kind of fast here, because, again, I don't want to get thrown out. If I do, I'm not going to go wait in the corner and force you to endure that again. Whoops, we... I'll, uh... I'll just dr literally drop the stuff and walk away. I'll throw it at the beggars. Good. Um, this one. Ah, 
fuck you. All right, I promised I would, so I will. Who are you? Pitiful looking beggar. T for throw. <laughs> Hard studded leather. Throw it east. It hits him. <laughs> there, I finished him off. I'm still mad about that earlier time <laughs> in town. Mad enough that I'm willing to just walk up and slaughter individuals. I don't, I don't care who knows it. Word of recall. See, he's not offering the fixed prices anymore. I wonder if... No, it's not, not just when you save it. I know I've come back before and seen fixed prices. I don't know what's happening here, man. He's not going right to the uh, instinctively lowest price either. Maybe it's if you... I don't, I don't have a clue. I'm talking out of my ass. I don't know what's going on. 130. 150. 160. You're lucky I'm impatient. I think we got it for like 169 before, didn't we? I think I've just shot myself in the foot, but I don't care. Let's just get it done with. We got four of them again, I think. Yeah, uh, we need scrolls of identify and see if he has any enchant weapons or anything like that. Eat some food. He's got identify. He doesn't have anything else of value to me right now. Oh, we're right back. Here we are, back to this. Okay. I'll purchase as many of these as I can. Three. All right. Nothing else we need to identify. We threw our armor at the bum. Let's word of recall back down. E. Stand in the corner. All right. That was a 12-minute trip to town. Not better than last time. Let's see what we can find down here. disappointed about our bastard sword getting disenchanted too. We've had a run on bad luck lately. If we continue to have luck like we have in the last couple of videos, then we are very definitely nearing the end of our game because we can't uh, we can't play that shittily or or endure that level of harm on a consistent basis and survive. I do want to see this is all quartz, is that right? Oh, dark rock, I don't even know. Oh, interesting. There's our uh, there's our bad perception kicking in again. We found that door automatically. I just want to mine really quickly to the right here. I don't know why I have a feeling about this. For no reason, apparently. Slain it. I can't. I'm just going to light up the room with the P-A-E, and I can't. It's such instinct. It's so ingrained. A hobgoblin. I think this the first one we met here in this game. I've killed them in the past. Not many of them, though. We're getting down to a level where it's... I'm going to start definitely very soon encountering things that I have no idea what they are. This guy is not a, you know, a, a major threat. He's a standard enemy with one attack. You know, he's threatening, but... He can't do anything special to me. That's rest. How are we doing for getting up a level here? We need a good 600, 599 experience to get up a level. So, as you can see, that gets harder and harder. Although that guy was worth 25, so... What was that? Uh, 600 would be uh, 100 for 4. 24 of those. That's no different than... Uh, you know, we, we, we had to kill like 20 creatures on level 1 or level 2 to, to get up, so... That'd be, oh, fuck you. Okay, he draws psychic energy from me, so apparently they can do that as well. Um, I'm not dealing with him, though. I don't want him disenchanting my armor and stuff. I've already... Did I kill that guy? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, it draws... Uh, it may have something else. I mean, it wasn't uh, the psychic thing. I mean, it was uh, rather not the eye. 
Maybe it was. I don't know. Damn it. Let's rest here and see if uh, if we get another message like that, then an invisible thing advanced on us, but it didn't. All right, I don't know what's going on here. But I do know I am not going near that disenchanter mold. Oh, yeah, I was, I was trying to find out if I killed that skeleton. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Skeleton kobold. Quite weak by the standards I'm used to at this character level, although there was a time when that would have been threatening. Of course, there was a time when a kobold was threatening because they killed a bunch of my earlier characters, so... I guess it's all relative. What are you that I'm wandering casually past? Ugh, God. Alright, get away from it. <laughs> I think as I, uh... I think I had such a run of bad luck that it kind of demoralized me. <laughs> and I'm therefore starting to play even worse. But that's what they want. They want me to lose hope. They want me to to give up and uh, start playing sloppy. So let's try not to give them that satisfaction. Let's play with some degree of skill. I say let's as if you also have a hand on the keyboard, as if it's a co-op game. But you are here with me in spirit. I don't know how many videos were in here, like 16 videos. To be honest, I even hardcore Moria fans, I find it unlikely, not impossible, but unlikely that anybody's going to sit through 16 videos of ASCII gameplay. Um, so when I say let's, I probably am talking to myself. It's unlikely anybody's going to get anywhere near this far. Probably get a few hits on the first few videos. There's still some interest in Moria. Unless we win. If we win, then this becomes a legendary fact that I actually uh, recorded a winning run, which is very seldom, if ever, done. Um... I, I do not hold out any hope for that, though. As I said, I'm demoralized on level 550. By level 2500, I'll be suicidal. All right. Um, giant flute flies. They are worth about two and a half experience points. Better than I thought. Can we kill them quickly? Is that possible? Or are we about to get overrun, and we're going to be very upset that we did this? Oh, we have our wand of stinking cloud. Let's use that. Zap. What wand do you want to zap? That would be my wand of stinking clouds H. To the east. There, I took out a bunch of them. Fuck, I need them to I need them to get together though. If they're not uh because I can't aim off axis. Whoops, fuck me. I passed a turn, that's gonna cost me. Because I can't aim off axis, if uh if they're not like you know, clustered along an axis, well screw you. Now here I'm gonna get a bunch of them. Zap, H, northeast. Boom. To be honest, though, I think it's a losing battle because they're still spread out enough that I can't kill them fast enough to uh, to ever account for all of them. I think this is an area of the dungeon we want to avoid. Let's see if we can get this door shut. Yep. One of them's down here breeding, though. See that? Even the one, the one got out and... Now we have a mess of fruit flies. I don't know if that's... Uh, that's not all of them. Oh, gee willikers. There's a lot of fruit flies here. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh my god, you people are... You know what? Fuck off. You can have this entire section of the dungeon. It's yours. I concede it to you. It is not worth standing there hacking at these things forever. Although they are worth a decent amount of experience, aren't they? Eh, we needed like 600. At a quor at a, I'd have to kill 25 of them, is that right? No, that's not right. 50, uh, something like 35 or 40 of them. I can't do the math right now. It's, I'm just, I'm tired. Um, whoops. I'd have to kill a lot of them to even get 100. And then uh, to get six hundred would be a heck of a lot. So, come on, open up. You fell through a trap door. I think I'm about to be down on level 15, uh, seventeen. No, not sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> level six hundred. 
And that's scary. Yep. I was talking earlier about similarities in, um, you know, various roguelikes versus Cap Mountain, Caverns of Saskazian 2, and, and 1, I suppose. Um, obviously, there are trap doors that can drop you down to the next level as well. They're called slide traps in Caverns. I guess that's not such a major coincidence, though. I mean, we're talking about archetypes of... of uh, of traps, etc. It's more coincidental when it's the effects your characters can endure. Although given, you know, characters have limited stats across different games, it's perhaps not surprising that every uh, roguelike designer tries to find ways to mess with those those stats or those attributes. So eventually you're going to hit on similar um, methodologies, etc. Interesting, too, like, here, I hit the skeleton, it hits me. That's two sentences. The two sentences do not take up even close to the full real estate of the screen. You can see that here. We have all this room over here. And yes, it's it's putting two sentences. It's not making me press the more button. But you notice with that zombie, it was making me press more. It's like here. We still have more space. Why do I have to press more? Why isn't that just a statement? I know there is more to come. Maybe that's what it is. I guess that's what it is. I just answered my own question. Answer being, I'm an idiot. There's more data to transmit, and that's that I slain the orc. I guess, yeah, if it just moved on, it wouldn't work. Never mind. Slime mold. That ubiquitous, crappy food. Which we will eat as soon as we are hungry. I think I'd have to be pretty frickin' hungry to put something that was described as slime mold in my mouth. It's like a, it's like the slurm from what is that? Futurama, brigand, damn it! Let's try and blind him. Can we do that? Do we need to do that? Pray. Whoops. P. A. A. Let's, we tried this before. I want to know if it's. Oh, it, it can work. Okay. So the fact that it was unaffected before. Must have meant it passed its saving throw, not that it's inherently immune to being blinded. It tried to steal from me. I assume my saving throw kicked in there. Fuck, I can't even hit him. Let's try and confuse him again in case he's no longer confused. Now he's confused again. I want him dead, because he will just keep pestering me. All right, he's dead. Son of a bitch, these monsters are getting tough. I don't feel like I am keeping pace. Definitively, my old math, this is the level I should be at, right? I always said four levels higher. This equates to dungeon level 12. I'm character level 16, so I should be on this level anyway. Ergo, I should quit my whining. How are we doing for time on this video here? There's six or seven minutes, we'll call it done. Possibly for the day, I am quite tired. I do have other things i got to do. Not feeling the best today. I can't. I, I stepped out here to cast the light spell, and I, again, I can't. I hope to goodness the next time... Teleport may help us. I think that's a... I think what a scroll of teleport is, is if I read it, I will teleport randomly somewhere across the entirety of the map. Which is great for if you're in a combat where you need to get away. That could be a great way of escape. Like the phase door scrolls we had, but that teleports you a limited distance, like maybe up to six squares away. I think the uh, portal spell that I could theoretically cast that I haven't yet. Have I? Yes, I have. We gotta try chant, though. And resist heat and cold. Why don't we try one of those right now? Just to get the experience for it. A, uh, chant D. You lost your concentration. I'm gonna rest here. And then P A D. I feel righteous. I don't really. I feel exhausted. Um, let's rest to get our stuff back. And let's. The prayer's expired. 
let's try the resist heat and cold as well. But let's rest all the way first. P A H. That worked, I assume. Did I? I don't know if I pressed the right. Yeah, you must have. Look at how much the mana dropped. I assume I'm now immune. I'm surprised it didn't say you feel. You feel funky. Here, it just said you no longer feel safe from cold. Interesting. It actually said you, you don't feel safe. Oh, and then from flame. The two have varying periods of uh, of um, effect. That's interesting, eh? That the cold one wore off before the heat. I wonder if that's always the case. As an experiment, I may try again in a minute. Let's just cast it again. Let's rest up. Cast it again. And we'll see if it wears off with the same amount of time. Ah, screw you. Within the same period, if the... I'm going to hurl this keyboard soon. <laughs> I really am. Be aware, mouseless keyboard. You may take a sail out the window soon. Okay, there we go. I'll walk around. Let's see if if the cold... Oh, what did that say? A strange red gas surrounds you. Your set of gauntlets is damaged. Damn it. Well, at least they were crappy normal gauntlets. I can always just get more. You no longer feel safe from cold. A couple of turns later, heat... Getting a lot more mileage out of the heat, I think. Unless it already told me and I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, there you go. Look at that. <clears throat> Flame wore off that time, cold wore off that time. So it must be a random amount. It must be like. It must roll dice for each of those effects to determine the length of time, not a static period. That's interesting, I think. I think that's interesting. I like trying to uh, get at the mechanics of games. It casts a spell. Oh, novice priest. Um, there is a... The first thing that ever drew, drew my attention to Moria, and, and actually drew my attention to Angband, again, a year and a half, two years ago. I don't remember exactly when it was. I think I started playing Angband about a year ago. It could have been two years ago. I only played it, really, the... I played it a couple of times back-to-back, -back, but only once that I made it any distance. And I told you I still had that game partially completed. But the first thing that drew my attention even to the, uh, not to the genre, I knew about roguelikes by then, but uh, to specifically, um, you know, Moria slash Angband, was another YouTube series I had heard about. There's a gentleman who plays, who played a series called um, 30 Minutes of You Moria, and he would, he, more smartly than me, would set a timer and it would actually go off after 30 minutes, I think, and he'd call it quits, but... He played for 30 minutes and just uh, continued the game again and again and again until uh, such time as I think he won. I don't know. I think he actually beat the game. And incidentally, just so you're braced for a theoretical winning... Uh, fuck. Theoretical winning game. Wait. Uh, you fall asleep. Now, you'll note I can move right away again. I assume the reason I can move right away again despite sleeping is that because there are no monsters around for me to gauge how long I was asleep, for instance, uh, you know, time passed, but I don't... Uh, it had no discernible effect. I mean, I'm sure my hunger clock went up and my light went down, but unless I gauged those things beforehand, if I looked at how much light was left, I don't know how uh, how I could calculate how long I was asleep there. Anyways, just here braced for a theoretical winning game, which I do not perceive happening. But uh, I think he had like 150 videos, roughly, in his series before he uh, won. And I don't know for sure that he did win. I didn't finish it. I watched the first, I don't know, probably 12 or so videos. So again, if you've made it this far, kudos to you. Um, and by all means, feel free to stick with me until I, you know, theoretically win. Although that's not likely to happen. Um, <clears throat> anyways, he has a series called 30 Minutes of Umoria. And at the... Who's casting a spell? Oh, it's a priest now. You'll note, it used to be a novice priest. Now it's just a priest. If we examine him, I don't think I've ever met this before. Have I? Yeah, I guess I've killed four of them in the past. He can cast spells. Is magical casting spells which cause light wounds, same as the other priest, or paralyze its prey one time in five. And the other guy could... could uh, A, I think the novice priest could confuse, not paralyze. And B, I think he was one time in twelve, and this guy's one time in five, but I don't remember that for sure. In any event, we want him dead fast before he kills us. We should also rest up after this. Let's grab this money and rest. Um... He would begin every episode of his video series with something called the Wheel of Source Code, and he would uh, he had programmed in a 
what the hell does it say? It bites you. It's invisible and it's biting me. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I should have tried my detect invisible spell. Um, I killed it though. He had programmed in his own little code that uh, picked random function calls from the Umoria source code, and um, and he would actually analyze the code to determine how things worked in the game, which I think was pretty uh, a pretty cool little feature of his 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 video series. I don't have the time and I don't have the source code um, to do that, nor do I particularly want to. I enjoy I do enjoy though experimenting within the game to try to learn as much as we can about the game, and also just looking up what I can online and such. Um, as I said, there's a, there's a paucity of, uh, of information about Moria versus Angband, and, it, and there are cases where I've relied on information I've gleaned from Angband sources, and I don't know if they actually do apply in Moria, because Angband is, uh, as I said, advanced Moria. It's Moria that's been modified so heavily that it is considered its own distinct game. And I guess it is its own distinct game in that you're not trying to kill the Balrog, you're trying to kill Morgoth. It is a distinct game from this. It just... Its uh, lineage is very proudly on display. And it's a great game. By all means. Finding a lot of new potions. I'm starting to have hope that maybe these could be potions that uh, restore our, our, our stats. I don't think they're potions that will permanently increase our stats. I know those exist. They existed in Angband. And they're usually found around, uh, from what I've read, dungeon level 25 in this. Like 25 feet down versus the 12 feet down we're at. But it stands to reason we might be starting to find potions that restore our stats. Given how often we are... Fucking brigand. Given how often we are... Uh, let's find out what he took. Uh, I don't... And again, I, I can't casually discern... I'm going to try and go back in this lit room maybe for a minute. See if he comes at us again. Is he coming? No. I don't know where he went. Um, I'm going to call this video in two seconds anyway. Let's just try and maybe track him down. There, there he is. I'm going to zap him with this wand and find out what this wand does. But I don't think I know. Uh, we tried it. We don't know what the effect was, unfortunately. Your backpack feels lighter. There's a puff of smoke. I'm not paying enough attention to know what he took there. If we can find him quickly, I'll kill him, and we will call this a day. If I, There he is. Stop touching me. All right. He got my spellbook again. And one of my scrolls of Word of Recall, so they can take those. Disappointment. You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it quits here. I think on the very next uh, game, we're going straight back to town again, because we can't walk around down here without our spells. We need some sort of defense. Um, and hopefully by now they've restocked the shelves, even if they haven't. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll cast Word of Recall right now, we'll start the next one back in the town again. Um... There are people who play this game in quote-unquote Iron Man mode where they refuse to ever go back to town, which to me indicates there must be spell books available down here, or else how would a mage character do that, for instance, because surely the spell books would get stolen at some point. There we go. Um, I'm not of that elk, though. I actually want to win, and I'm going to take every advantage I can get. All right. Uh, have a great day, guys. I think I'm done for the day. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow, probably, if I have time. I don't know. Tomorrow's a busy day. I'll be back soon. Maybe even later today if I feel up for it. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna a have a lie down and then b uh, do a workout, um, which does not sound appealing in my current state. But I'll talk to you later. Bye. Uh, stop.